Hey guys, uh, welcome to your energy check-in uh, for the uh, for Gemini. Uh, this is going to be for the first half of your February from the 1st to the 15th. So uh, we're going to take a look at your overall energies, uh, what's surrounding you guys, what you guys need to know, what you guys got to expect for the first half of your month, and then we'll see what the possible outcome and advice are, what else you guys need to know, look out for, work on. Um, so this reading could be about anything, nothing specific. We're just going to see what the cards have to say. Um, you can apply this to any of your placements, okay? Um, so if you guys haven't done so yet, hit the subscription button and the notification bell so that you guys get notified on when my new videos post. Give this video a thumbs up, like this video, share this video, leave a comment down in the comment section below if this message resonates. Keep in mind that these are collective messages for the collective um, for the collective Gemini people. Um, uh, so if you're looking for a reading tailored to your specific unique situations and your energies, I suggest you uh, book a private personal reading with me. The link for that is in the description box below. All right. So tell me about Gemini. Tell me about Gemini. Over energies for Gemini. What is surrounding Gemini? What does Gemini need to know? What can Gemini expect for the um, first half of their February? from the 1st to 15th for Gemini. Tell me about Gemini here. Three of Pentacles here and the Queen of Pentacles, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. Um, you know, I feel like you might be collaborating with a lot of people, working with a lot of different people, or that you're about to meet a lot of new different clients here regarding the work that you do, okay? Some of you guys might work in sales, okay? Or some of you guys work in account management or something like that. Um, I, what I'm getting here is that, you know, it could be a situation that you guys are onboarding like a, a bunch of new clients or something like that. Okay. That might resonate with somebody. Um, let's see what else we have. Nine of cups here and the world. Wow. Seems like you're living on cloud nine. Your life is going really, really, really well. Um, you're happy, you know, you're feeling like you're reaching your goals or that you're feeling really, really successful here. You know, with the world card, this, this could be an indication for, you know, even the all of February, maybe most of the rest of the winter, you guys might be traveling here uh, just to get away from the colds if you guys live in a cold area here, okay? Uh, five of Wands here and the King of Cups, okay. Someone here can be angry at you or that you might be angry at somebody whoever this is i feel like this is someone that loves you or that this is someone that you love okay could be that you know i don't know could be that you know there's something that's not working out here or that this person might be angry that you, you don't have time for them or that you have time for them but you might be telling them that you want to be on your own right now or that you have other things going on or that you're not looking for a relationship because for some reason, I do feel like you're that queen of pentacles here. You know, you could just be really focused on your career right now, focused on your money, focused on your pentacles. Three of pentacles here and the eight of swords, queen of pentacles here and the seven of cups. It seems like you have a lot going on here. I feel like you have a lot on your mind here. And I feel like this has a lot to do with work. Yeah. Uh, you know, maybe regarding whatever is coming towards you and work, I feel like you're just going through all the different scenarios that could possibly happen here. Okay, there's definitely a little bit of worry. Okay, you're worrying. I mean, it's easier said than done, but you know, for some of you guys, you know, some of you guys might have a hard time getting out of your head. And I feel like your guides and your ancestors are asking you to do that. Yeah. Yeah. So, um, Nine of Cups, Queen of Swords, Libra, Aquarius, Gemini, and the World card. And yeah, you guys are definitely going to do some traveling here, Gemini. Okay, Queen of Swords and the Three of Wands. So I feel like you guys are making plans. Yeah, you guys are making plans to travel here. Okay, Five of Wands. And the Nine of Swords, King of Cups, and the Ace of Cups here. Very, very, very interesting. Someone here is in love with you. Yeah, someone here is in love with you. This person's incredibly stressed out here that someone here is not getting attention. And I feel like this person's pissed off because of that. Okay? Yeah, whatever is going on here, you know, maybe you're in love with somebody here too, and they're they're not reciprocating that energy back, and I feel like it could be frustrating to you, uh, Gemini. All right, because we have two people here clearly, a queen and a king. All right, tell me about Gemini. Outcome and advice here for Gemini regarding their situations. What else does Gemini need to know, look out for, and work on here?
Wow, we have the Empress here, Libra, Taurus, Energy, and the Eight of Wands. Wow. Gemini, things are really, really taking off here for you. You know, I feel like you're going to worry temporarily, but you're just going to be like, you know what, fuck it. Whatever unfolds is going to unfold, you know? So, you know, I just feel like you're just allowing things to um, naturally, you know, unfold here. The Chariot and the Six of Cups. What's well, Chariot and the Six of Cups? This travel could be an indication that you are reuniting with somebody here in the past. Maybe this is a, maybe this is an ex here that's angry with you or pissed off. So this is someone, if you're traveling to meet up with someone, I, I feel like there is a long awaited conversation here because I feel like someone here is holding a grudge towards you. Maybe you're holding a grudge towards somebody, okay? The Hermit here and the Five of Pentacles. Virgo energy and the Five of Pentacles here. Whoever this is, I do feel like this person is missing you or that they're feeling lonely without you here. There is someone in your life that's really struggling financially. It could be that, you know, someone here might be reaching out for help and you might be helping this person. But Gemini, I don't really see you helping out this person. Yeah, it's kind of like one of those things where you feel like this person has to like overcome this on their own or like learn on their own here. However they got themselves in this situation. Yeah, we have the Empress here in the Four of Wands, the Eight of Wands here and the Six of Wands. Well, I mean, you're experiencing a lot of success here. You're experiencing a lot of stability and happiness here. Things are going really, really, really well in your life. This could be an X here. Yeah, you know, I feel like someone here is angry that they're watching you succeed. Um, they're angry that they're watching you be happy without them. Queen of Wands here, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, Energy, the Six of Cups here, and the Ace of Pentacles. I mean, this could be an indication that you're leaving the past behind and you're just focusing on new beginnings, or that it could be an indication that this person wants a new beginning here with you. It seems like a reconciliation energy. I mean, maybe they're just coming back because they're seeing you successful here. Uh, the Hermit, we have the Hangman, Piscean Energy. Tell me about this uh, Five of Pentacles here. And the Magician here, Gemini Virgo. You know, I, I just feel like there's an energy of you coming to a realization of seeing things for what it is and accepting things as it comes, you know? Uh, you know, kind of accepting these changes that comes towards you really gracefully here. Because uh, I do feel like you are really tapped into your higher self right now. You know, I do, do you feel like you're in this energy of like manifesting the life that you want? And I feel like you have. But someone here cannot take that you are in such a good place here. Yeah. I do feel like this person might have walked away from you and ghosted you. And I feel like maybe this person feels like they made a mistake. They're they're finally realizing that you're a good catch here. But you know, I feel like this reading is more about you here, Gemini, instead of the other person. So Gemini, I hope that this was helpful. I hope that this resonated. If it did, leave a comment down in the comment section below. Share this video, like this video. If you haven't done so yet, subscribe, hit the notification bell, and I'll speak to you guys in the next one. Thanks guys, bye.